All right, what's up, guys? This is Ash with Pop the Flavors, and I'm here with Maddie of Ford today. Hey, how's it going? It's good. How are you? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Rainy day. Yeah, it's gross. Oh. Uh, yeah. So you guys aren't a fan of the rain, obviously. No, well, I don't mind the rain um, when it's when it's not also cold. super cold out, but when it's cold and rainy, it's too much. Okay. Do you yeah. have any epic rain stories, maybe from like warp tours or something? Um. Yeah, we we did have. Uh, well, you know, I guess nothing too epic. The just um, we just had to shut down all of Warp Tour a couple times, and it's like when when you shut down Warp Tour, you've got to like run over to the stage and tear down gear and cover things and roll things back to the trailer, and it's a big sort of thing. So whenever there's a big storm at Warp Tour, there's a thousand people running around trying to like fix everything, get mm -hmm. electronics out of the rain, which is insane every time, but. We made it. We survived. Yeah. You survived. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. All right. And you guys just released an album this past fall. We did. Yeah. It's called Wake. Yes. It's like our fifth or sixth album. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's it's our newest one, and I love it. Yeah, it's intense. About it. Thank you. All right. So you want to tell us something about it? It's uh, it's heavy. It, it is. Heavy. It's heavier. It, it's intense. Yeah. From from the sound to the lyrical content, it's yeah, all yeah. heavier. Yeah. That's right. I mean, I, it seems like people really like it, you know? For uh, sure. I mean, really more than maybe any of our other albums, people are, are um, really responding very positively to it. So. Did you take a different path, kind of, with the lyrical content in this one? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's, um, I think lyrically, uh, I, I just wanted to write songs for hurting people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of them in our scene. And, um, you know, I felt like a lot of our songs, maybe people could could relate to in a sort of metaphorical sense or whatever before this but but i wanted songs that kids said you know maybe maybe all the problems in their life haven't been fixed yet and, and maybe they're still looking for hope somewhere you know we wanted to write songs that uh that those people could could sort of hear and and um maybe connect to or you know find Definitely. find some strength in you know okay but there's still that christian backbone to it yeah i mean everything everything i do whether it's writing an album or going to the store you know it's uh i want to keep jesus at the center that's definite um but for this one it's not like forefront straight up front it's kind of hidden in the back a little yeah well it's more like the foundation you know like okay. I, yeah I, I love jesus but the songs aren't like yo i love jesus <laughs> you should too you know what i mean it's like yeah i love jesus but and because i love jesus the songs are like um man if you hate if you hate your life like don't there, there is there's hope just hang on there's more you know, to don't it. kill yourself yeah. yeah so like there it's not it's not so much like hey everybody check out jesus it's like and but but because of my love for for god and, and um and my faith uh I, I think i was i was writing these songs to hopefully help people out of some of the things that are keeping them in in captivity that's great yeah that's great and you guys also signed to nuclear blast yeah oh we love it that is different. So, how does that compare Nuclear Blast to uh, what was it, the last label? Razor and Tie. Okay. Uh, Nuclear Blast is awesome. We love them. They're they're I mean they're one of the best. They're the biggest metal label in the world for a reason, you know. Um, so they they know what they're doing and they're very good at it. Uh, so it's it's a great label. We're excited to be a part of it. That's awesome. Yeah. And after this tour, what do you guys have planned? Uh, we are going to Europe, Europe. After this, which is exciting, going back to Europe. Uh, and then we'll be supporting some really awesome bands that we are friends of. Um, and I can't tell you who it is yet, but it's uh. very cool. Okay, but that announcement will be coming soon? Yeah, I think. I don't know when, but, but pretty soon, yeah. Anything big for the summer? Um, I don't know. Something? I, I actually don't know. I'm trying to make it sound like I'm, I'm keeping a surprise. I don't know what we're doing in the summer yet. Okay. Yeah. But when you do have those big surprises, is it hard for you to keep it a secret? Totally. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you one to cave or you're just kind of eh? Uh, yeah. I always want to like tweet, oh my gosh, you guys, this we just got on this tour. I'm so pumped. But I have to keep it quiet until everybody else announces it. So <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty good about it. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Is there any new music videos coming out soon? No. No. I don't think so. I haven't even, we haven't shot a music video in forever. Uh, music videos suck so bad to shoot, so maybe they, we They're just, long. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a long, punishing day of listening to the same song on repeat and pretending like you're totally into it. Yeah. Uh, so, it's, um, it's pretty grueling. Yeah, we haven't done one in a while. I don't know when the next one will be. 
Okay. Hopefully yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. And what song do you think you would pick if you were to do another video? I don't know. I literally have no idea. <laughs> I don't That's know. okay. Maybe we'll do like a rap remix of one of our songs and do a video for that. I like it. Yeah. Have you done a remix of... No. So that'd be a good idea. That Definitely. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys are kind of on a thing where you put an album out almost every year. Yeah, we crank them out quick. Yeah, so how do you crank them out so quick? Um, You're just full of... Uh, I don't know. We, we'll never really stop writing. You know, we get done with one album and, and we've already got ideas for, oh man, you know, I, I wish we would have done something like this on the album. Maybe we can do that on the next one. So, you know, it's not like we get done writing and take six months off or a year mm -hmm. off. We get done writing and before, you know, before Wake even came out, we had ideas for, for new songs. That's awesome. Yeah. So, are you already planning on the next album? Uh, I mean, no no solid plans, but uh, we're, we're thinking about, you know, if and when we do another album, what it'll be like. All right. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to know? Um, just love you guys. Come hang out with me. All right, cool. <laughs> this is Ash checking out here with For Today. See you guys. It's the Blind! Leading the Blind!